Northeast APC Youth declares war against Shetima. Hmm. Well, we don't really know why these APC youths have decided to rage war against Shetima. Well, let's quickly find out as we hit the news. But if you're joining us for the first time, you're very much welcome. Kindly subscribe and please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you all for always coming out here. May God bless you all. An All Progressive Congress, APC Group, under the aspects of the Northeast APC Youth Stakeholders Forum, has declared war against the party's vice presidential candidate, Kasim Shetima. Briefing newsmen in Abuja on Thursday, the group warned that apart from the interim measure of redrawing their support from him, they will unfold a more drastic action against him in the next few days. The chairman of the group, Shaibu Bafa Taude, who disclosed their position in his address during the briefing, claimed that Shetima's actions have led to millions of party members living in droves. Speaking further, the group noted that the Northeast APC Youth Forum has watched with tears as many supporters continue to defect to the PDP. Unfortunately, the, the trend in the Northeast zone is worsening by the day, with Kasim seemingly turning a blind eye to these developments in our party in the region. We, the youths in the North, Northeast, have lost our zonal treasurer from his home state of Burunu, Yusuf Sharif Banki, due to his failure to support youth in the region to launch massive mobilization. It is worth noting that Sharif led over 500,000 youth to the PDP. As if that was not enough, our zonal organizing secretary, Motala Gami of Taraba led over 200 youth to the NMPP and our zonal woman leader, Amina Manga of Bauchi, led 1 million uh, women to the PDP. So out of the 8 million youth votes, we have already mobilized for Bola Admetinibu, our presidential candidate for the presidential polls. Kasim Shatima has already plunged over 3 million through his actions with a wave of defections from our party. This is simply unacceptable. So in the light of this, we urge our party, our party's vice presidential candidate to immediately reverse his steps and correct his errors for the sake of the party, the region and the teeming youth. It is on record that this group, which led, pardon, then led by its current acting chairman, Bafa Shabiu, threw their support behind Shetima and committed massive resources, both human and financial, to ensure he emerged as the APC's vice presidential candidate. So we do not seek compensation from, uh, from Shetima, but our resentment stems from his failure to recognize a formidable youth force of the party that stood by him through thick and thin after realizing his ambition to become reality as a vice presidential candidate from the Northeast region. So as a result, the Northeast APC So as a result, the Northeast APC Forum wishes to redraw its support for Shetima, our actions should not be misinterpreted, but rather judged by our affections for our dear party. While we intend to take our next steps regarding his candidacy in the coming days, we would like to express our unwavering support for our presidential candidates, Bola Tinibu and the APC. We will continue to work for the advancement and victory of our beloved party in the upcoming general elections 
as they had promised. Hey, my wonderful people, this is coming from the Northeast APC youths. As they come out to declare war, in fact, they are raging war against Shetima. So, guys, what do you have to say concerning these issues? What are your thoughts concerning these issues? Because uh, the, with the way where the matter they go, it can't be like, say, uh, money no reach their hand. Maybe Shetima don't refuse to support them with some kind of money way that they expect. Because uh, during this uh, campaign period, most uh, formidable um, campaign uh, organization, you know, have really been expecting uh, some amount of money from their principals who they are really deeply rooting for and supporting. So for these uh, Northeast APC youth to come out and rage war against uh, Shatima, saying that uh, he doesn't recognize their efforts, saying that he doesn't recognize their efforts towards him coming out the victor to be uh, as the vice presidential candidate of the APC, then they want to drop him aside because he's not recognizing their effort. So my country people, as we all know, you and I, we know say those efforts now be say you never can't drop money for them. I be not be so. Uh -huh. Maybe Shetima never really say okay, oh, make una take this one oh, the whole body oh, because uh, they noted that uh, he failed to support their youth in the region to launch a massive mobilization. And what is that mobilization? Uh, it talks about uh, if this group are you know, wanting to print caps and uh, T-shirts, maybe carry broom, you know, all those are known as mobilization. And these are, these are youths have been expecting, you know, some amount of support from Shetima. So they will be able to mobilize themselves fully for this campaign, for this election. But they are not seeing any, you know, any green lights from uh, from Shetima. So they are saying that this is unacceptable, that this is unacceptable. And they have called out for him to reverse his step, to retrace his step and correct his error for the sake of the party, the region and the teaming youth. That it is on the record that this group that is led by its current acting chairman, uh, Shibu Bafa, had threw their support behind uh, Shetima and had committed massive uh, resources, both human and financial. They are now noting the point that, yes, so the acting chairman has really, really shown support. He has committed both his human and his financial support to make sure that these uh, APC uh, vice presidential candidates, you know, is well known in the region. But then, Shetima is not even doing anything to recognize their efforts. I'm dropping here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts down below. <music>